do a genicular nerve block, there are three branches, the superior medial, superior lateral, and inferior medial branch. Looking for the superior medial genicular nerve, I scan the medial side of the knee, putting on color Doppler, laying along with the artery, close to the epicondyle. Take off the Doppler, and one can see the nerve next to the artery. Scanning distally, the nerve approaches the corner of the epicondyle with the blood vessel. As it descends to innervate the knee. causing one to two mLs around the genicular nerve, up to the king quarter percent. Now we're going to target the inferior branch of the medial genicular nerve, going below the knee joint onto the tibia, the medial aspect, looking for the blood vessel. It's a small nerve here, may be difficult to find at times. And it runs with a blood vessel and it's superficial to the bone. It appears that the nerve is right here. Take off my Doppler. Go pinch. Injecting another one to two mLs around the genicular nerve in the inferior medial position. The bone over here is the tibia. Now we're going to scan for the lateral branch, which also runs with a blood vessel. So I'm going to put my Doppler on. I scan for the blood vessel to help me isolate the nerve. And I like to go as distal as possible on the epicondyle. As I'm scanning proximal to distal, I'm looking for the nerve in the blood vessel. Too much pressure in the blood vessel will disappear, so it's important not to press too hard. But I found the artery, and the nerve is right under it. of the artery, and I'm going to get the needle slightly lower, and that ties the nerve underneath it. There we go. That's it. That's the nerve right above my needle. The artery is to the left of it. Much easier to see after the local anesthetic has been given.